Fayetteville, North Carolina, home of one of the country's biggest military bases, Fort Bragg and Pope Air Force Base, in my home since I was six years old. But on a beautiful Saturday afternoon on April 16th, around 3 p.m., things would change forever. I never thought something like this would happen in my hometown, especially since we're in an area where tornadoes just don't happen. I decided to go back home for a weekend to survey the damage and interview a couple of the residents affected by the storm. And my journey began in my dad's town of Dunn, North Carolina. So what was it like down here during the uh, tornado? Oh, this thing was, came past us like it sounded like a train when it came past. We was upstairs listening, trying to get the weather. We said, you know what, that, that, uh, that's not the train. We better get from down, get from up here. So. This is my father's house. Not even half a mile up the road, this is what the storm did. This is where it came. Right there, towed this house up. You said his son lived in his there? His son lived in that trailer right there. The trailer was there. The trailer was right there. So now it's over here. <laughs> yeah. It was the same story mile after mile, so I decided to stop and interview a couple of residents to hear their thoughts on the storm. How long have you been living in North Carolina? My whole life. Your whole life? Have you ever, in your whole life since you've been here, seen or witnessed anything like this? No. No. Um, have you ever been in a tornado? No. No tornado since you've been in North Carolina. So what what um, you know what happened to your house here? Like, what's the damage? And we really do not know the full extent. There used to be a carport over two vehicles, but the carport trees fell on the carport, fell on the two vehicles. Wow. Yeah. So. Wow. So where are you staying now? Well, we were at the Hampton Inn, okay. so we think we may have found some place to rent, um, but we really didn't want to move all in one week. Mm. You know. I can understand. So, Did you just think it was going to be like a regular storm or? Just... We just thought it was going to be a such as it always has before. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So yeah. when it when it when when you really knew what it was, what did you do? We went to the laundry room, has no windows. So that was it. That was where it did not hit. That was on this side, but it did not turn the roof off that side. How long have you been in uh, North Carolina? Uh, 50 years. 50 years? Uh-huh. And um, in your time here, have you ever witnessed a storm like this before? Uh, no, not like this. I witnessed um, Fran. Mm -hmm. The hurricane. Uh huh. Yeah, but never a tornado. Nothing like this. No. When it actually was going to hit, we didn't even know we were going to have anything like this. Mm -hmm. Had no idea. Uh, it took me an hour to come, uh, 15 minutes to get to my house. These trees were down out here, power lines, things like that. So, how, how long did the storm last, or you know? No, it was just a really fast. By the time I could get home, it was over with. So it was like a, I don't know, minutes. I have to have a new roof. Uh, I have a hole back here in this wall. Uh, lots of trees down. Uh, swimming pool is gone, and a couple of new roofs on the back of my house. As you can see, we're in a heavily hit area. Uh, this was once a trailer park. The uh, tornado actually jumped I-95 and landed over here. And um, it's debris everywhere. We don't know how many lives were lost here. We know it was a lot. Uh, some people just couldn't make it out. They didn't know where to go. Uh, we have people's clothes, the televisions, toys, their bikes on the ground. Uh, they're still cleaning up out here, but it's pretty much a ghost town right now. Oh, in Fayetteville, it was, it just tore it up. We didn't even go there because the area was just so bad that if you didn't live in that area, didn't have an address, you couldn't get in that area. So, so how could they tell if you lived there? Oh, uh, you had driver's license or something with your home address on it. That's the only way you could, they would let you in. The following day, I decided to go visit my mother in Fayetteville and see for myself what the storm had done. My mother told me where the hardest hit areas were, and it just so happened that they were all areas that were all too familiar. This is my stepfather's shop, right in front of the neighborhood of Cottonade that was hit hard. Still two weeks after the storm, there's so much trash and debris on the streets, and it doesn't seem like there's any end in sight. Here in Cottonade, several volunteers came out to help, like John and his wife. So you're helping out a friend here. Um, so is this, I take it as the, Clean up not as bad as it was, or how, how did it look before you all got here? We couldn't walk in here. 
you had to climb over, go under, and everything. And they immediately started getting the chainsaws out. And they had to get that tree right there. <laughs> they wow. had to get that out of the way for, for emergency vehicles to get in. And they, that was done by private citizens. <laughs> that was done by Fort Bragg troops coming in and helping, and neighbors pitching in. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, all this, all this uh, roads were cleared for emergency vehicles to get in by the community and by troops from the Fort Bragg. You know, initial responders, the community. So, were you here the uh, afternoon the storm hit? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my uh, my wife, our five-year-old, and the two dogs were in the garage. So um, when the storm hit, you know, did you did you think it would be as bad as it was or you just thought it was a regular storm? Yeah, just expected a severe thunderstorm, that's all. Oh, okay. So when when did you know, like, okay, this is a tornado? About 10 seconds before. Wow. Wife looked out the window that way. Mm -hmm. and I looked out the patio doors to the west. And, uh, yeah, a split second before we gathered everybody into the garage was, uh, you could see that pine trees almost horizontal they hadn't broken yet so how long did the actual tornado last I don't think uh, when we were bracing in the garage you know I had hold of the uh, the bracket that the water heater was bolted to the floor by and then my family was under me we couldn't have braced for more than 10 seconds Wow so in 10 seconds your whole life was changed mm -hmm. Ron another volunteer he had a different take on the storm's events. Weather-wise, uh -huh. man is paying for what he's doing because what he's doing to the environment is affecting the weather. <laughs> global warming, they don't, you know, I believe that the global warming has every bit to do with this, <laughs> the weather patterns. And they made a movie about it. There's a movie out that you can watch. As a matter of fact, there's a couple of movies about how they're predicting how this is gonna happen, and it's <laughs> happening already. And so, times are going to change. Within the next 10 years, you're going to see much more of this. You're going to see worse. I decided to drive five miles up the road to another neighborhood I used to hang out in as a kid. Unfortunately, this neighborhood had suffered the same fate as Cotton Aid. Um, this is the neighborhood of LaGrange. A bunch of my friends, we all grew up around here. As you can see behind me, it's like... Most of this neighborhood is like now just demolished from this storm. We used to come over here all the time and now it's like gone. And this is when I ran into Gail. Something said to me, run! <laughs> <laughs> I hid in the hallway closet. Oh, okay. I said, Jesus, don't let me die. And I said the Lord's Prayer and it was all over. It what? seems like five minutes, but I know it wasn't. But it, it just, all hell broke, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> All hell broke loose. I mean, you know, noise, you know. I said, oh my Lord. So how long have you lived in North Carolina? How long have you lived in this house? 69. Wow. Wow. Have In that time, have you ever... Never. Went, you know what I put in there? I can't doubt to use it. It's, but you know what? Things don't mean nothing to me. It's only things. I'm alive. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. You know?